guys, welcome back. <coughs> Today is a brilliant day. We've had a fresh delivery of parts for the bus. Now, these parts are mainly front end, but I'm not going to get them out now and show you. You'll see them as I fit them on the van, on the bus. So I'm really excited. I've been waiting for these for a while. I believe this is really going to make the front end pop. It's going to finish the front end off to where, to where I want it and to where I'll be happy with it. So less talking, more action. Let's get started. Right guys, so we've just pulled up at my mate's unit. I'm not going to film inside the unit or fit in the parts or anything like that. I'm just going to get the job done and then I'll load you guys back up when I've finished and I've fitted them. So basically we'll go from this point now, we'll get these parts fitted and I'll show you the results. So basically, what we've just done is we've just fitted the front spoiler or splitter, whatever you want to call it, the lower spoiler. So I went for the gel coated gloss black. I think it looks pretty nice to be honest. I've sunk it in, I've fitted it so that it's kind of flush. The, the furthest point out here, I've fitted it level with that so it kind of all looks as factory as possible and I've also put it so at the bottom of there you still got that shape it kind of all fits in together I think it looks really nice I think it's a nice finishing touch because I think the front end looked good before but I definitely like it more now I think it just finishes it off just just flattens the front end off um, quite easy to fit so this hole here there's there's four bolts in this. This hole here is already in the bumper underneath. So most people just put um, like a self-tapping screw through. I didn't. I put a nut and bolt through. So that hole there and that hole there are already there. So you've already got your points of reference to basically line it up. You can move it move forward and backwards. But all I've done then is I've put that one in and that one in. Once I was happy with the position and I've just nut and bolted it all underneath so someone can't rip it off as easy it's just starting to rain now which is great and the other mod that we did let me just show you now I didn't I forgot to film under the bonnet before I basically fitted this so this full engine cover these are these are really expensive to be honest um, you have to weigh up what means more to you whether you want this I like this because it's quieting the engine down slightly it makes it look you know real professional real factory really nice under here now but also eventually when I'm I've done the pop top and the bigger stuff I'm gonna completely paint this and do some airbrush work on it I'm not really gonna show this fan or anything like that but it's just nice to know that that's got a nice detailed finish underneath that's that done just seals it all off, like I said. Keeps a bit of engine noise down. And it's just a nice touch. So basically we've got that done as well, which I'm quite happy with. And the last thing was, bought this black badge for the front. And I did put it on, but I've kind of took it off because I kind of like the van as it is at the moment with the chrome 
because I think the chrome of the lights and the grill it kind of breaks it up. I kind of like that, but I'm 50 50, so as I'm relatively happy at the moment, I've decided that actually I'm just going to keep the chrome and keep that as it is for now because you know I kind of like it. So in the future, I've got this, it's only cheap. So if I change my mind in the future, then I've got something you know to put on and, and, and change the appearance of it, right? So that's the end of this video. Yet again, thanks for coming back. I know it was just a smaller video, this one. It was just a couple of little little items, you know. They're still quite expensive, though, as most things are on these fans. But I do really think that it has made a big, big difference. And I do definitely think that it was the way forward. I am going to polish the intercooler up, because it's aluminium. I'm going to probably polish it up so you will see it. You can kind of see it now. But if I polish it up, you will see it standing proud at the front a little bit more. And then when I've got the air ride on it and, and, and it's quite low, I'm going to put a sun strip on it just because I always have the sun visors down. I'm, I'm quite sight sensitive to bright light anyway. So I'm going to do that. But then the front end, I'm quite happy it's quite done. So back to it. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you next time.